Hey, welcome back to my channel. Tonight, I'd like to talk about a movie I didn't think I'd even be talking about, but that movie is Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, going, I remember when the first trailer got released and there was all that, that fan backlash about the design of Sonic. I remember the, the design wasn't good at all, but I really didn't want to see this movie. I didn't care, really. I didn't think this would be a movie my son even wanted to see, but lo and behold, a couple weeks ago, because they've been playing the trailer nonstop on Nickelodeon, my son told me that he wanted to see it. So last night we went to see Sonic the Hedgehog. And uh, my son Troy, what'd you think of it, pal? He thumbs up from him. He enjoyed it a lot. If you have kids, I'd say anywhere from the ages of 4 to 13, maybe even 14, they'd really enjoy this film. And honestly, going in with no expectations, man, this is what helped my outlook on the film. My wife and I both enjoyed it. I mean, I played the original Sega Genesis game, Sonic the Hedgehog. And I have fond memories of playing that game. My wife has no connection to that game whatsoever, and she even enjoyed the movie. Now, I know there's other source materials. There's been other games and, and other stuff, but I've never played those games or read anything, so I don't know. Other than that first game I played, I have no idea. But uh, surprisingly, well, this movie was directed by a first-time feature film director, Jeff Fowler. And Ben Schwartz voiced Sonic, and he does a really, really nice job. Um, James Marsden's in there as Tom. We have Jim Carrey playing Dr. Robotnik, our main bad guy. And we got Tika Sumner in there as Maddie, Tom's wife. Um, I'm not going to spoil this movie considering it just came out a few days ago. But the movie starts off in uh, Sonic's home world and something happens and he has to go through a portal and he ends up on Earth. And he's been there ever since. And he kind of just, he's a loner, he hides to him, keeps to himself, but he wants to be a part. He, want, he thinks he has friends, which basically he watches people from afar. And he's right outside of the small town of Montana. And Dr. Robotnik works for the U.S. government, and they find out about Sonic through some power surges that happen up in Montana. So they dispatch him and his crew, and he discovers Sonic, and he wants him for research, and Tom helps him get away from Dr. Robotnik, and they basically go on a road trip together. And that's pretty much the main thrust of the movie. And honestly, this movie exceeded... I had no expectations, but it exceeded them. <laughs> it's actually a well-done movie. And for a video game movie, a lot of them are garbage most of the time. And it, they, they really tried to make a good movie here. Is it perfect? No, it's not. But it's well done. It's funny. Sonic's funny. He's charming. He's cute. Um, he's a fun character just to be around. Um, James Marsden's great as the t Tom, as the town sheriff. And I don't know what it is with uh, James Marsden. This is the second time he's played off of a, C a total CGI character because he played in Hop opposite the Easter Bunny um, a bunch of years ago. But he's good. He's likable <clears throat> as a small town sheriff. Jim Carrey, <clears throat> I haven't liked the Jim. This is probably the first Jim Carrey performance I've liked in a while, although I did like him in Kick-Ass too. But other than that, this is the first performance by Jim Carrey that I have enjoyed in a long time. <clears throat> this performance kind of reminded me of uh, 90s Jim Carrey, like Ace Ventura. Or even he reminded me a little bit of uh, the Riddler from Batman Forever, just a little toned down. But yeah, Jim Carrey looks like he was having fun, and he's funny and quirky <clears throat> as Dr. Robotnik. And uh, he plays an effective bad guy. I mean, it's a PG movie, so it doesn't get too crazy. But... I found myself laughing at a lot of the jokes. Um, my wife was laughing too. There's some cool action set pieces, especially with Sonic going slow-mo in the movie that are really well done. And I we enjoyed it, honestly. My son and his buddy enjoyed it. We took my son and his friend, and they both enjoyed it. And again, if you have a kid that's between 4 and 13, 14, they're probably going to enjoy this movie. Um, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Um, and that's way more than I thought I was going to give it. When my, wife, when my son told me a couple weeks ago he wanted to see it, I, I was like, okay, we'll take you. I wasn't expecting to like it, but I did. So uh, that's it for me for Sonic the Hedgehog. I, have you seen it? What have you thought about the movie? Um, leave a comment down below. But that's it for me. Have a great day, and I'll be back soon. Thanks. Bye.